This thing is insane. It's all about the Sky Stone. Welcome to the next episode, and we build this thing behind me. You better get your thinking caps on, because this gets complicated. It also took me an awfully long time, so I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button, because it really helped out the videos. Right, let's get into it. You see behind me the Sky Stone Catalyst. It has moved from its meteorite. There was a meteorite, and I have taken it all down. And these Sky Stone Catalysts are very, very important for progression in the pack. And if you hit them, and I'm going to do it here, if you hit them, right click them with a wooden axe, they fly 10 blocks up in the air. <laughs> that is mainly if it's in water and you need to build your machine, your mechanism that's going to harvest the Sky Stone that that thing will create. We'll do that in a minute. You can hit it with an axe and it takes it out of the water. What we're going to do over here is the Sky Stone. We are going to work out how we can turn this thing into Sky Stone. So what you do with this... Ah, whoops. Where was I? Oh, uh, yeah. So the catalyst, if we go up here, and I love these, um, uh, let's go up a bit more. If I hit this with some redstone, it starts to create, ah, it starts to create sky stone. You see that? It started to build sky stone. It can build sky stone seven by seven. So it can create sky stone. So what we could do is use a deployer to deploy redstone on it. And then when it's created all of that stuff, we use some drills to get rid of the sky stone, collect it, put it in a chest, and then we'll send a train over to collect the sky stone, take it back to base. Got all of that. I need a lot of drills and some contraption building. Yeah, that's getting these done. Middle edge, go there. Is this going to be enough? Um, can't do my math. 64, 98. Okay, that's 98. We've got 98 of those. We need our super glue that we've got somewhere. Oh. One of the other things I'm going to be using is gantry carriageways to do this. So I need four, I think. Maybe I only need two. Aha. I'm going to get a load more bits crafted and I'll see you back at the meteor site. How are we going to do this then? Um, What I think I'm going to do is go up to the middle. Uh, is that going to be the middle? Why can't I place you on top of there? Uh, yeah. Okay. Take my pickaxe. Here we go. Thing is with scaffolding. I never know how I can get that to go higher other than like that. Are we at this level yet? No. Right. So that is the level of... Okay, I now need to build out seven, two, four, five, six. That is where possible block, right? One, two, three, four, five, seven. So I think I can put... Go out one more. I should be able to put a block there. We can have our first drill there. You know what I mean. I want to put it on front of that guy like that. And then we want to come up. It's not going to be up seven. It, it's not going to be a it's not going to be a seven by seven, is it? It's going to, I'm going to do a seven by seven. I'm not going to try and do the whole thing. Because that's going to go... Oh, I can go up. No, up. Okay. Um, one, two, three. And then we go down. Doo, 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 doo. Well, that doesn't look too bad, does it? We've just got to repeat it on the other side now. Okay. One thing one must not forget to do. Glue the whole thing together. That would, would be a bit of a disaster. Right, you're all glued together. Now we need to figure out how we want to move the contraption. That is where these gantries come in and gantry shafts. And I've got no idea how they work. So I'm going to figure it out now. Ah, OK. So I think if I put a little bit of scaffold work, if I put you there, down one, glue in offhand, just in case, put you, you go on there. Why can't I place you? I have to put the shaft first. Shafts need to come. Should we do this in the middle? No, we're going to do this on the edge. I don't know how I'm going to edit this together, but if I put you on the end there, you do. You do all move. Do the thing, do the drills actually move? Yes, they do. Superb. And if I reverse this, go up a couple of blocks. Reverse, you move, move back. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. <laughs> okay, uh, let me just set this up on the other side. Okay, we're going to just test this side now. Um, this side doing the same thing. I think we can. I think it should work. Is it glued is my question. Yes. Uh, no, come back now, please. Okay, that, that, that is epic. So now what I believe we can do is pop a uh, mechanical stuff. Gear shift, is that the one we want? A bit of redstone signal, it reverses. That's the one we want. So I want to put a gear gear shift in the middle of here like that no it's not going to work that needs to be a gearbox gearbox there gear shift there with rotations coming in i hand crank that 
they're both coming in. They were both coming in, weren't they? No, that one. Okie dokie. That's not quite what I want. Hmm. Right, we're getting there, I think. So I've set up these, what are they called? Uh, redstone contacts. So when this moves all the way in and gets to this and one, one too close because that's one behind the drill. So the drill will be right in the middle, which we don't want. I need to shove those one more this way. So I need to do a little bit more crafting. I need to make some redstone links that require brass casing. And I've got brass somewhere. We've made brass. We do. Good. Clean up my hot bar just a little bit. Uh, brass casings, please. Brass casings this way. Uh, ten of them. I think this is how you make brass casings. Let's just check. Brass casing is deploying brass onto log. Yep, so we can use our machine. Pop our brass in there. Pop our logs in there. And we'll get brass casings back. Aha! Very good. Redstone links are then uh, brass casing with a redstone torch. So I'm going to make a pile of those. Pretty good. Stone links. Good. Good. The redstone links are uh, a wireless redstone effectively, so you can configure them with two channels. So you can say skystone, skystone, and then this is going to send that redstone signal and this is receiving. So when you get this little thing around the top, it's receiving. When you turn that on, they have received that redstone signal wirelessly. So I am going to plop a redstone link on there, and I believe that's on now and it's transmitting. So I don't need that block. And I want to make you, um, we're going to have you as sky stone dirt okay so i know that side is sky stone dirt i've decided to start using um dirt as my as my scaffolding block i'm going to do the same up here i'm going to put a redstone on this guy he won't be on look and i'm going to he's going to be dirt and redstone uh, dirt and sky stone so that's sky stone dirt. yeah okay over here we can set up four channels so the uh want to go that way do they two three four and then we've got the middle it was guy stone on no, the middle stone on the blue guy stone on blue you're going to be dirt you're going to be there and i think you shift and right the thing it should turn into receive mode so shift and right click the thing and then this is going to be other way around and then if i shift and right click on this one you should see the little redstone thing come on because that's on and this is going to be uh stone there and sky stone there and right we've got to do it with an ember two and you're on okay now can i rotate on the facing that way I think we have a working system. I've just switched into creative mode so I can fly about much easier and show you what's happening. We have redstone links everywhere. We have our redstone contacts that will indicate whether it's in the home position or at the end of its push. We have a gear shift can toggle whether it's going forwards or backwards and that's toggled with redstone and we have a clutch that's toggled with redstone to tell it whether to turn off completely or turn back on again. The redstone links are what controls that. So the process will be push. So this is deactivated. When it gets here, it triggers the redstone link that will switch this to pull. So it will pull the thing back. And then when this is at home, it will turn the clutch off. So there's no rotation at all for 10 seconds. This, the push will also have switched back. And then when the 10 seconds runs out or the two minutes or the however long, it will push it again. And that happens down here. So we've got a toggle switch that is controlling this guy. So the toggle is either on or off and it's on or off depending on it will toggle between when it's got all the way to the end of the push. So it will switch and pull and then it will toggle back when it gets to the home position. Okay, that's these two. So that, will, that one will fire, then that one will fire, then that one will fire, then that one will fire. And this will just toggle between the two, toggling the gear shift. This guy is where the delay comes in to turn off the contraption completely or turn it back on again. Okay, ready? We try it. And this is my master switch. So if I turn that on, you'll see that that's pushing, comes back, waits, and now it's waiting for 10 seconds. So the clutch is off. And then when that 10 seconds runs out eventually and it's gone and now it goes off again and then it returns and it waits again and I can turn the whole thing off just with this lever here so it won't ever go again got it we just need to set that up for the other side okay set up very much the same just checking now to see if it works so it's actually getting rid of some of the sky stone but that's going to take a while sky stone it's really really takes a really long time to get rid of with the drills by the way no matter how you get your drills going as fast as you can and it's not too bad they are fixing that it's uh in the dev version at the moment it's going to be a lot quicker but for now we've just got to wait it does work and then it will move in and hopefully then that will toggle okay it's doing the next line and i have the shoots in so i don't know what's going to have stone in there but it'll be fine not worried about that just yet 
oh, this is going to be two blocks. Oh, I don't think we're ever going to meet that contact. I think I've got that contact in the wrong place. Contact needs to go one more over. We'll see. Don't know what's going to happen. I think it's going to stop because it can't break this prop. The Skystone Catalyst is unbreakable. So my suspicion is it's going to get there. Oh, it might move one forward. It might be all right. Let's see. Any second. How about now? Ow. It did. It did. And it went back. And now it's toggled. And then it's off again. And that's just because we've got such a short delay. Breaking some more block. Good. Not breaking the Skystone Catalyst. But actually, we can leave that there because that's going to make sure we get rid of more blocks. I wonder if I can move you one over. Why hasn't that gone Thor? That should have triggered that to go back. Why have you not triggered it to go back? This toggle isn't working for some reason. Hmm. I finally figured it out. Yep. A couple of mistakes I'd made. <clears throat> I hadn't put this guy into receiver mode. So it wasn't turning the clutch off, which was causing this to, whoops, uh, which was causing this to just spurt off straight away again. And this signal needs to be reversed. As you can see, it's reversing um, to make sure this happens. And we now have independent sides going in and collecting their sky stones. So if I hit you with, actually, let's let it do its cycle. I've got them set to 30 seconds. So I want to sync them up, actually. You off, hit you back, you off. Now hit this with some redstone. Here we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? This is outside of that seven by seven area fully. I got that right. Good. So now if I flick you on and you on, they're both going to go in. And six hours later, let me just get rid of the sky stone that's in here. This is all testing and I'm flying around in creative. I haven't built anything in creative. I'm just flying around in creative. You might be unhappy about it, but it doesn't make this job easier to try and explain to you guys. So let me know in the comments if you think that you'd rather I stayed in survival to try and explain this stuff. I think it's better this way, but I don't build. I just explain. Right. Anyway, uh, let's empty this guy's stone from you and see how much we get. Oh, look at that. And it's just left that middle line which is i could cope with that uh, so if we hit it with redstone again it should have enough time to rebuild oh oh it is actually seven blocks this could be a problem that that, that one there is going to be a big problem oh dear so this is why we test right um see what happens i mean ultimately the fix yeah this is stopped now that block maybe yeah this this is a problem um but i can move this out and i can move these out um and I can add more drills. Oh, that's so annoying. I mean, you're still... You have... Oh, it'll be this block here. Looking at it. Right, I've got some work to do. <sighs> at least I'm finding out for you so you don't have to go through all of this, of course. Well, this is a bit of a beast. Look at this. It is enormous. Uh, I have used so much iron, uh, but I think it's necessary because, you know, it could generate Skystone in a, genuinely in a, a seven by seven radius. So it's it's enormous. Yes, it's enormous. I've tried to decorate it a little bit with some scaffolding to make it look like it's supported. We have our structures here. So we are getting Skystone in these in these chests and the redstone is all working and I've got a master on off switch here. So this is linked to our clutches, uh, Skystone, Skystone, and these are receiving. So they both turn both sides off if we want to turn both sides off and it works. It actually works. So let me just um, get up here and in fact, we'll do it the easy way because I don't want to interrupt the flow. So if I do that, Oh, and then we can see uh, it's creating sky stone all over the place. So it's created all the sky stone. If I turn my master switch off or on, off, these guys are off. They're doing their thing. It's awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. That's a few and a half, isn't it? Look at that. Look. So I'm hoping that we don't destroy any of the blocks in the middle here because I need to work out how we're going to deploy redstone to this guy. And we could use our uh, redstone mechanisms over there to actually trigger that but we just need to make sure i don't want the drills are going to go one in but they're immediately returned so i don't think they'll break any blocks in this space here they just go straight back which is awesome right let's turn it off and work out how we deploy redstone so master
to switch, turns it all off. Good in it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, we need to deploy redstone to this guy. Hmm. Right, I'm just checking. This is the bit I want to see. So we can we can stop it activating, and then we can trigger it to activate when we need it to. But the problem is we've got to try and get rotations to this thing as well. Um, and I'm not sure how we're going to do that because we might get in the way. Uh, I want you to, if I give you some redstone, you are now able. Didn't want to do that. You are now able to use that redstone. I don't think this thing interrupts blocks that are in its in its dough. If I use you and you should be able to put a belt to there down here, and it won't get in the way. Uh, this might wreck it, but it might not. We're gonna try it. Uh, and I need to fire a redstone signal at it. I can do um in the middle here, right? If I would I be able to put you on the side of it? You're gonna be a receiver. You're in receive mode. You're in receive mode. And what did the ponder say? When it's powered, it's not activated. Okay, so we want that to be on and then turn off once this returns home. So I'm going to make you... Uh, I don't think we've got calcite, calcite. Um, limestone, limestone. Get in there. Okay, it's done its thing. Uh, where's all my redstone bits? So I need a, a redstone link that is... No, uh, you can go here somehow. No, oh, we'll go at the end. I want a redstone link that is set to you and you for now. Now we are just going to power you with a lever. So you should look. Go on, bet it. Okay, it's created a great big block. So we now need to uh, turn the thing on and let it get rid of all of that. And um, we'll we'll watch it do it. Okay, so it's broken. It's broken this. Um, which is a little bit disappointing. So I need to just work out how I can keep it within within this line here because this doesn't get broken. That's what we're going to do. We're going to figure it out because this line here doesn't get broken. As you can see, turn it off. Oh no, this needs to return. Okay, it's done it. It's done it. I thought it was broken and it's not. We're off. Okay, right. So we need to work out how we can get this deployer. The deployer, thankfully, does work through the book that's being created. So it will push through there. So I should be able to put my library what's it there and put you into receive mode. All right, so you're redstoned. You should still have redstone in you. How we get redstone in you is going pan, blowing up. That could work. Uh, anyway, that's not the job of now. Um, I want you there. Go up there. Come down and there. We can do that. And then we can put, I don't want to put a gearbox there. That will change two gearboxes. Two gearboxes. Two gearboxes. That's the only way I'm going to be able to do that. Two gearboxes. Then it doesn't change the direction. Here we go. Okay, that shouldn't break. And I should be able to attach a fan. Blow redstone up. Not worrying about that just yet. Right, let's turn let's turn the deployer back on. Let's turn the, the redstone thingy on. And then where did I put him? Toggle him on and off. Uh, let's get rid of all of this stuff out of my Okay, he should have done it once. I don't think he did. I don't think he did either. Uh why not? Oh, you've run out of redstone, that's why. And I haven't got any on me. So let's set the fan up. What I want is shoots and redstone and a fan. Shoots redstone in there. Nope, go away. Fan. Nope. Case fan. Good. And shoot. Good. So I want to pop a fan. Not like that. Pop a fan like that. Cool gearbox. Is it going to be going the right way? Question. What do you reckon? Is it going to go the right way? It is. <laughs> Yes, that's so lucky. I mean, absolutely planned for. <clears throat> absolutely planned for. And now, shoots. Shoot, uh, redstone. Redstone. I need to filter the deployer for redstone. Okay, this should, should work. What I need to do is pop the feed to there. So you can have a funnel there. You can have do, 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 do. Go there, there. Excellent. You're going to be going the wrong way quite far. I do is have another cog this way. Yeah, like that two shafts and a gearbox we're going the right way you know what i'm gonna do that no that doesn't work of course it doesn't work we need you 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 and now should be able to chuck some redstone on here it's going to end up in the deployer i hope we're going to find out if this all works what do you reckon are we going to be first time lucky did it do anything yes yes it did and then if we turn the master switch on and off it goes none of that should break your weight you're transferring your things and now you're off and none of this should break and if it doesn't i'm a very happy man it's crossed i love looking up from here what a view Big bro and come on nothing broke yes yes 
Yes, happy. Okay, so now we just need to trigger trigger this when both are in their home station. Do we just trigger it? Oh, I don't know now. So we'll trigger it when they're when we've got. So we need an AND gate that says this one's on, this one's on, and this one's on. Fire that. We can do that. AND gate. Yes. Just so you know, that's an AND gate because it's just turned that signal off because both of them to set another one of those up. Yes, that's another one that's the same. The same. Now just let. They are now not in their home so that's is going to keep ploying we want ah so this just needs to be a well let's create a big block these guys are now waiting far too long we need to take them down five seconds so now look that's actually stopping the deployer probably run out of redstone in the deployer but that's okay it's just forcing it to not do anything while i figure out the pulse all right we've had a little little mishaps along the way but we're getting there so i've just deployed it so what i've got here is an and gate that's reversed so when this one comes on and or is this an or gate now when one of them comes on when one of them comes on this is going to fire which has gone on to a pulse a pulse extender that will just pulse this that will mean that will only pulse once that's the plan um so they're both in their home station so it's not going to do anything and it shouldn't change the state of that one over there when i release them they're going to wait they're off this one isn't why aren't you going why aren't you going let's do that yes so look this didn't change right this is still on it's this we're watching you go over here okay it's gonna it's just transferring items at the moment i suspect and now it's off and this is still not changed grinding up our sky stone and what i'm expecting when they return to their home stations is this just to pulse once or at least when one of them gets back to their home station it should pulse once but that might be a that is going to be a problem yes that will be a problem i don't want that to happen so i'm just disconnect and we'll let them do their bit and then we will figure that problem out hmm so i've disconnected the timers that that send them back away because i actually want to trigger it from this thing that sends them back so that's going to go back and now they shouldn't move but we've got our and gate has now turned off so we can now fire the redstone once which means we need to reverse the signal to reverse the signal i think and then when this fires we want to give it five seconds and then go we can actually so i've just force disabled it so i can move this i want to move this and i want to move you because we want to reverse this signal and so now when they do leave we can emulate can't we can that do it and this is where the pulse comes in just in space and i want that to be you and you you're transmitting on that so we can force this by take you off you back should only do it once we're good and now i need to just trigger them to go trigger you to go they're both off we're just transferring items and when they get back we should see this trigger once again lined myself up to see if that torch fires when these guys get to their home stations they won't move again because that's disabled how i'm going to edit all of this together i have no idea now turn hasn't triggered yet the other one is now returning and triggered new sky stone now that is exactly what i wanted to see happen so now we need to basically wait for uh we want pulse repeater i want to ponder this make sure it's the right thing we're going to wait that long and then we're going to trigger those so we're going to wait for five seconds 10 seconds and this one we're going to wait for 10 seconds and then i'm going to put a uh, redstone actually let's do it like we've been doing it consistency is redstone there and redstone there and then have a redstone link in receive mode double calcite double stone in receive mode and send that away excellent so you in receive mode double calcite 10 seconds and you'll move that should be fully automated sky stone system oh <laughs> actually sat here with my hand on my cheek in anticipation for this all working successfully emotion is real people still wondering how i'm going to edit all of this together so it doesn't take six hours because that's how long it's taken me so we're expecting it to return to home station trigger 10 seconds later those two things start moving won't move until the right hand side is all the way back side left hand side oh no he's doing one more block by the looks of it gonna destroy the watching watch bottom of my screen won't flicker until they're both at their home then we'll get sky stone and then the first one going 
back, flickered, shouldn't move. Deckard won't go back, die stone, die stone. A few seconds later, off they go again. Yes! That is awesome. I think that's enough brain work for today and this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. This has been a journey to get to this far, but this Sky Stone is going to be vitally important for lots of things going forward. Next episode, we are going to get into the rest of that chapter and build the factory that uses this Sky Stone, and then we can get into precision mechanisms. As always, if you've enjoyed the episode, smash that like button and consider subscribing. We are already past 1,000 subscribers. It would be great to get to 2,000 subscribers as quick as possible. Right, I will catch you in the next episode.